<coughs> hey, <coughs> it was good. As you can probably already tell, I'm very sick. And I've been sick for a week since I got back from Ori Bike Festival last week. Anyways, welcome back to another video. I know it's been two weeks of just poorly uploads. It's been terrible. I'm sorry, guys. But I'm going to try to make, make that up for you guys with some dope ass content in the future. But now I'm still sick, so I can't be out riding, unfortunately. So this will be a bit of a tech update and a bit of tips from me to you guys. And... Uh, just something in between you know i think you like it and i'll talk about some interesting stuff as well uh anyways as i said i, w I went to or bike festival last week and uh, we were filming for a video challenge uh it was a video contest with four teams and then we all were filming from monday to friday and then we had to deliver the video at nine o'clock in the evening on friday so we were filming all day all night and until late in the like past midnight every day and then we were editing until it, like early in the morning and then we slept for a couple of hours and then we went out and did the same thing every single day and it was raining and it was six degrees so that's probably why i'm sick so but anyways if you haven't watched the video yet you can you can go on my youtube page and then you can go and watch that video just go do that it's an interesting one it's a bit of a different one because it's an edit yeah it has it had to be between four and six minutes and it had to have like a storyline throughout the whole thing, like a red thread. And yeah, anyways. God damn it. Since I'm sick, I'm gonna do a video from home and this one is gonna be about what, I'm, what I have in my riding bag, what I bring to every single session or when I'm just out filming these videos for you guys. So this is what, I'm, this is gonna be like a bag check. This is pretty much all of it, but this, that's like another bag filled with stuff as well. And yeah, I'm gonna, talk you through everything obviously and why I have those things and I well, just saw by the way look I forgot to tell you guys but I won the best rider award at the Warrior Bike Festival so that was kind of nice to add to the collection checks and trophies and stuff everywhere maybe I should take them away a little bit it's a bit too much in the face for me if there is like a day of rain I could do like a like a trophy check and walk you through what where I got everything this one for example is when I play second in the whole world tour in Diamond Series 2016. Pretty proud of that one. Anyways, let's get in into this video. So, by the way, my stats have been horrible the last couple weeks, so... This is like the third time already and we're not even started with the video. I tried the whole thing while I'm asking you guys to like my videos and share it and show everyone. And that's when I really saw like a progression with following and views and stuff. So I think I'm going to take that back. So don't feel like... Like to be honest, it's not really what I want to do to ask you guys to like my videos and blah, blah, blah. I feel like if I make good content, you would do it anyways. But I know how easy it is when I'm myself is just sitting and watching videos i always forget to like like videos even though i think they're super dope so it's just really hard to not cough all the time so yeah i'm gonna ask you now to leave a like and comment and subscribe because in average 55 percent of my viewers are not subscribed to my channel and i feel like something is wrong along the way if that's the case okay so i'm gonna walk you through how i pack everything and what i bring for a writing session, a filming session. So, obviously I'm gonna start first with the bag. And the bag is obviously like a douche bag. It's a hugger, 30 liters. Opening the bag like this, like douche bag have, it's a game changer. You can fit so much more stuff in your bag than using a backpack where you go in from the top part. So to begin with, I always pack my shoes, the first thing I'm doing. And I thought about maybe I should switch to like a like a nicer pair, like a fresh pair, but that would be lying because I'm gonna ride in these as soon as I'm healthy again. So yeah, and these are Etni's uh, Brandon Semenek model. I don't know the name of the model, but I got them from Brandon. So thank you, Brandon. Right after that, I'm usually putting in this one. This is my helmet, obviously. If you've ever bought a helmet, you probably got one of these already. Uh, it's just a cover so you don't scratch the helmet. The first thing you're doing. Take that one. Nice. So I still have a ton of space, but there's a lot of things that needs to go in. For gloves, I'm always having two pairs. I need an extra pair of gloves, otherwise I'll just get out of my mind. Because uh, if I have one crash with gloves, they're gonna be all dirty and they're possibly gonna be wet or they're gonna be ripped apart. And 
I hate riding without gloves, especially in the summer when it's really like warm outside and sweaty, so your hands are getting real slippery. They are going in this side pocket always, both in one. It's quite hard to pack with one hand, but yeah. And I'm using Alpine Stars gloves. They're the dream, I love them. I've been riding them since I was like, can't even remember, but since I was very young. Next thing I'm packing is always the leg protection. And I'm riding these TSG Temper A 2.0, full protection one. I love them because when they they're sit together like this, a lot of people are using separate chin pads and knee pads, but they just slide on my legs. Uh, so I love these because they're sitting really well and they're really easy to pack as well. Look, I just fold them together and they look like one. I put them in there always. That. Ankle protection. Uh, this is the TSG ankle support. Really good ones. See, you're getting like a gear check as well, not just. My next thing I would pack would probably actually be this guy. So this bag, it looks like an Oakley goggle bag, but I just took the goggle bag and used it as a toolkit bag. And I have like all necessary extra parts and things that you need in this bag. Uh, so you guys can see how much I actually put in this one when I put them like there's a lot of things in this bag. It's a shock pump because you don't want to get fucked by that. And why I'm using this old shock pump is because it's really small and it fits very well in my bag. Uh, torque kit, just like a nice pack with all sizes. Allen key kit, that's probably the thing that bike riders use the most. A pack of that. A little little knife. A couple zip ties. I also have some brake pads. You never know. All these things I'm having in this little kit is things that I've ruined in the past and I've needed and I haven't had it in the back. So I always when I ruin something and I don't have it, I just add it to the back. A new chain. It happens a lot that you snap chains. Not since I started riding with this one though, because this one's really, really good. I don't know what this one is in English, but it's a tenor. Because that one goes to my gyro things. Chain tool, extra gyro cable. You never know if you break it, because I feel like even though gyros, even though gyros are the thing these days, I don't trust them for a second, waiting patiently for someone to create like a really, really proper gyro, because I'm not trusting the market at the moment. Extra brake lever. Obviously a tube if I get a flat tire. Extra set of crank stoppers. I've already told you guys in some prior videos what a crank stopper is. is to prevent the cranks from spinning when you do tail whips and other sort of no footer combos. Extra barns. When you crash and put your bar in the ground, you can rip the barns out or just destroy them. So extra pair of them because you don't want to ride without barns because you can get your bar through your stomach or through your leg or something and that would be really, really bad. All bike riders probably know why I'm having this one. A big 8 mil because the back wheel and the crank set goes with this one and you need a bit more leverage than just a normal pack to like tighten those bolts because they need to sit pretty tight. Mini Allen key with a bit more leverage so I can tighten small screws. Another toy. I don't know why I'm having this one actually. But it'll go in there anyways. If the gyro breaks I have some extra screws and extra stuff. I have no clue in the world why I have these two. It's for, I think they're for holding a, god damn it. I think they're for holding a shifter trigger. I don't know on, why on earth I would have that. Electric tape, this one's really good because you always use electric tape and you always, always need tape for some reason. So this one's really good. And these two are for my crank set between the pedal and the crank set. I don't know why I have these. I probably forgot them when I mounted a new pair or something. That's my little toolkit and uh, what I really need when I go out for a session. When I don't have this bag, I feel devastated and I feel scared because if I break something, I won't be able to fix it on my own. I need to find someone else and then I have to rely on someone else. And I don't like that. I want to rely on myself. So yeah, this one goes in. Here, it fits perfectly in here actually. That's pretty good. Looks really organized and nice. And then I'm having this guy. It's a black roll foam roller thingy. Uh, it's a bit smaller and you can use it for a lot of more things than a normal foam roller. That I have a lot of them over there. So, uh, yeah. Boop. Look how nice that sits there. Yeah. Since I started riding for ram mounts, this is a mount that I'm, I like. Because I can both mount it on my bike or on my 
my body so it goes out from me or on the car you've probably seen that before oh my god it's so heavy it's very nice there extra pair of socks because these are riding socks and when I show up at the session I usually change the riding socks because I want to have because obviously they get soaked of sweat so I want to have fresh pairs when I leave the session but during the summers I don't even wear socks at all as you can see the idea was actually to have a pair of jeans here because I always come to the session with uh, shorts but today it's cold so I had jeans on myself so trousers or shorts or whatever when I leave the session because they also get soaked in sweat so I want to have like a dry and nice pair afterwards water bottle obviously because you sweat so much when you ride and you need to get stay hydrated and that one goes in there and it fits pretty well and the last thing I'm always putting in is one of these guys a monster energy why it's not very full the bag now is because usually I'm, I'm I'm bringing a lot of more drinks to my friends uh, just lit up the session a little bit more with energy drinks but yeah as you can see there's a lot of space left but as I'm just showing you how I would pack my bag today uh, I'm not gonna fill it up it sits very well now perfectly packed bag and the uh, next thing I'm always putting in obviously this this is not the camera I'm filming this video with but it's my old camera that I went over with a car But I put a lens on just to make it look somewhat like the camera I'm filming with now. Goes in there. Recently started packing stickers. So if you ever see me at a session, just ask for stickers. Because I always have them in my bag. Perfectly in there. Then I just slide this one over. Obviously a normal GoPro case, GoPro. And this one's for the wind to reduce the, the noise. So yeah, I can, yeah, I'll just grab my key so I can show you. They go in there too. But yeah, not hard, hard at all. Look, <sighs> sits there perfectly. It's perfectly packed, balanced, and everything. Oh wait, I even forgot <laughs> the sickest part of all of it. Forgot to pack the most steezy and clean piece of equipment I've ever had in my whole life. Obviously, why I'm bringing an extra T-shirt to the session is because of the sweat reason. I always get super sweaty when I ride, and I hate to jump into the car with like soaking clothes. Just putting the T-shirt in the computer compartment. Do I say compartment? No, maybe not. I don't. I don't care. Like that. There it is. Fully packed. Nice, hey? So yeah, I think that's it for today's uh, gear check video. Uh, I've never done one of these videos, so it's kind of nice to just like switch it up a little bit and show you guys uh, how I set my stuff up and uh, some tips and tricks on how to make your life easier and better while out riding or just like if you want to know anything about me. I don't know. Leave a comment down below what you thought about this video. If you completely hate it, just let me know as well. I think it would be funny to get some feedback. So I read every single comment I get, usually, and uh, yeah, uh, it's just hard to make everyone happy. Like some people want this, some people want that, some people say talk more, some people say you talk too much, some people say I don't even know. So it's so hard to just get every make everyone happy, but I'm doing my best and I hope you guys recognize that a little bit and uh, hope you guys enjoy my content and I'm just gonna evolve, evolve, evolve and do bigger and better stuff all the time, the more I grow. So, uh, and you get sending merch and new models actually. It's not just gonna be the black t-shirts anymore. It's gonna be some new stuff. And they're gonna be available. I'm going to America next week for US Open actually and I'm gonna compete in a gold event. That was, was a while ago, but I'm pretty stoked. I'm just gonna go there with an open mind and uh, ride as good as I can on my bike. But first I need to get healthy. I'm probably just gonna crash on the couch now and get healthy. Or no, actually I'm gonna edit this video. Wow, I'm talking way too much as always. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. It would be awesome if you wanted to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, and then I'll see you back, I hope two days, if I'm not sick. But yeah, I'll do my best. Thank you guys, peace.